Good day everybody. My name is Conrad, SA Guide. Yeah, it's been a while I haven't posted a video on YouTube, but here I'm uh, making a series about Pretoria, my hometown, also where I was born, also known as the administrative capital of South Africa. Uh, Pretoria was founded in 1855 by and also named after a guy called Andres Pretorius. Uh, so Pretoria is about 56 kilometers north northeast of Johannesburg and also lies on the high felt at about 1,400 meters above the sea level. Uh, it's known as the Jacaranda City because it's lined with about 50,000 Jacaranda trees. Yeah, in this series I'm going to be showing you quite a bit of uh, Pretoria. I'm going to go to a few of the historical buildings, like the Union buildings, and also past the railway station. Uh, here on my left is going to be a few of the pubs and uh, restaurants where young uh, students like to go out. Uh, so uh, Pretoria is serviced by uh, quite an extensive bus service. Uh, there's also many uh, important roads coming into Pretoria, a lot of major uh, highways that you can get to different parts of South Africa from Pretoria. Uh, the N1 highway runs right through Pretoria. The N4 highway basically also runs through Pretoria. And then also the N14 highway going west. Pretoria is also not far away from uh, Johannesburg International Airport. Uh, there's also a domestic airport in Pretoria called uh, uh, Wonderboom Airport. the main entrance to the University of Pretoria. Here's the uh, Optus Sversveld, which is the rugby stadium of our uh, provincial team, the Blue Bulls. So this is where they normally play all their home games, also where they come and practice. A very big stadium. Very popular on Saturdays. This whole area will be parked full with cars, and then everybody is uh, attending to support our uh, provincial team, the Blue Bulls. This is uh, called Hatfield. It's also filled with uh, student accommodation here. Lots of shops and restaurants, especially uh, for students. It's also a very popular uh, going out area. Very nice restaurants, nightclubs. There's uh, of course many uh, very good schools in Pretoria, uh, but there's also uh, quite a bit of uh, tertiary education available from the U University of Pretoria, University of South Africa, and also the Tswane University of Technology. Pretoria also has the CSIR, which is a science uh, research facility. Here. 
front of us is the University of Pretoria's uh, sports grounds. We got a very high quality uh, sport grounds, sport facilities. See here is already some soccer fields. There's actually loads and loads of uh, rugby uh, fields here where the Turkish uh, sports teams can practice. Has it? I'm just going. This is the Alcy de Villiers High Performance Sports Facility, uh, which uh, hosts about 9,000 students annually in different sports clubs and academies on competitive and recreational level. Rugby is particularly popular also among the universities. Every year, the Varsity Cup hosts universities from all over the country participate against each other in a uh, very good in rugby competition. Then of course football or soccer is also very popular. Students can also play tennis and also compete against each other in many different athletics competitions. I think as well, what is all these cows doing here? But it is uh, test farming of the University of uh, Pretoria. Experimental farming. So where uh, some of the students who's uh, studying uh, something with agriculture or, or uh, science, yeah, they also have uh, opportunity to study some uh, farming. Athletics Stadium, the Tartan Court. Inside this building, there is a gymnastics uh, center. So, on the side of the building, there is a climbing wall. If you would like to see more of Pretoria, I made a series of videos about different parts of Pretoria. In this video, I visited Hatfield and the University of Pretoria, showed you a little bit how the student area looks like. birds here by the Alcy de Villiers Dam. This area is called Hatfield. It's well known for its high density of students and accommodation because of its proximity to the University of Pretoria. Hatfield and the neighboring suburb called Arcadia is also well known as this embassy suburbs because of its large number of uh, different embassies. Down this street here to the right, you can get to the Gau train station, Hatfield. From this station, you can take a train to get to either Pretoria station, or to Park station in Johannesburg, or to Johannesburg OR Tambo International Airport.
taxis are looting to advertise for passengers. videos I will be going to Loftus Fairsfeld, the Union Buildings and Klapperkopf Fort. I will also, also show you the Voortrekker Monument. I also go to some of Pretoria's well-known nature reserves in the city to show you how close we are still to nature here in the capital city of South Africa. If you want to visit Pretoria and need more information you can always contact me on my email. Also, if you would like me to make more videos about places in Pretoria, please let me know. I am planning on continuing this series about popular things to do. Here in front on our left is uh, Loftus Fairfield Rugby Stadium. Here to my left is Loftus Park Shopping Centre situated right next to Loftus Stadium. It's got lots of office space, a gym, ample retail stores, plenty of restaurants and also a hotel with a sky bar. The sky bar has got an open air bar up at the top of the hotel which you can get very beautiful views of the whole of uh, Pretoria. In my next video, I will be going to Loftus to watch a match of the Blue Bulls. If you are interested, then you can keep watching. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. And also, if you like this video, you can press the thumbs up button. So, see you next time.